ending the week with a treat right here on Capital Extra Breakfast. It's Robert Bruce and Shayna Marie. And we are joined by a lady you see often on our TV screens on this morning. The OGs will remember from S Club Juniors and the girl band The Saturdays. Or like me, watching her on Smile TV and making a cameo with that gorgeous voice of hers in the new Disney film, Wish. It's her first time here with us, ladies and gentlemen, Rochelle Humes, everybody! Woo! How are you doing? What's going on? What's good? I'm good. I'm good. I'm just, you know, busy. It's that time of year. Everyone's very busy and it's all happening, but mm. we're hanging on in there, gang. We're just about getting yeah. through it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, your new Disney film, Wish. Uh, yeah. You are starring in it. You uh, are a character in the film. Yeah. What was it like voicing uh, a, a character, a cartoon, especially for Disney? Yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm going to be honest, it's very small. So when you go, don't, like, expect me to be lead girl. Like, I'm absolutely thrilled and I'm buzzing. I've got two lines. Yes. Well, actually three, because I also sigh. Oh. <laughs> so we're not going to forget that, guys. Do you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. We're going to keep it real. We love, we love that there's a sigh. Um, but it's mad. It's like such a huge production, as you can imagine. But... When I went to the studio and it's like we've got people uh, on Zoom from the States and then a whole crew there and it's like a whole, exactly what you'd want Disney to be. You know what I mean? Mm, yeah. Um, so, yeah, really excited. I'm um, taking the children. I'm going to just pick that up because this is done. I took the kids to the premiere <laughs> oh, on Monday. Yeah. And I think for the, and for me, it was so important that it's a diverse film, right? So my kids can watch it. And my youngest daughter looks exactly like the lead character, wow. Asha. So it's just, you know, like a real special pinch me moment. So mm -hmm. yeah, it was, it's really exciting. And I'm just like, when I got the phone call, I was like, are you sure? <laughs> you know, like real <laughs> imposter syndrome. Like, you really want me to? Oh my, okay. In your career so far then, what has been your biggest wish that has come true? Oh, that's a really good question. I I think for me, like starting my own business, I think it was like, please make it go okay, please. You know, when you put everything into something and it was kind of, no one else was responsible apart from me. And I think my biggest wish was for it to have success and, you know, not of not to lose everything I put into it, I suppose. <laughs> um, so yeah, I think that was probably my biggest wish, I'd say, in my career, yeah. Did Marvin help you rehearse the lines? Um, no, okay. he didn't because he's busy in kangaroo anus or whatever he's doing. <laughs> <laughs> he didn't have time. Um, no, do you know what's so funny? My um, my daughter went to me because um, we, we we've seen it twice now. We went to like a little screening that I went to see me properly before the premiere and stuff. Um, and she was off school, actually, one of those ones where she's like, I'm really sick. And then all of a sudden, she ended up at a screening with me. Yeah. <laughs> you know, when, like, they had me, and I was, yeah. like, scrambling, yeah. thinking, oh, my God, he's away. My mum was busy. Who's getting it? So I brought her with me, and she was absolutely Having fine. Having a great time. <laughs> you know, you're like, oh, you look really ill. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and she was like, Mum, why do you sound so British? <laughs> she was like, everyone else is, like, American and stuff. I'm like, do you want me to like, fake my voice? Like, you know, I am British. What do you want me to do about it? So she was really annoyed that I didn't, like, have a little... Oh, L no. LA twang. Yeah. Oh. She was like, I thought you might like pretend. I'm like, it's kind of not what this is, but thanks. All Don't the worry, same. soon come when, yeah. the, when the further roles come in and we're out in the lane. Oh, I'll do what yeah. I need to do yeah. to yeah. keep this on to us, babe. Speaking of Marvin, the story of how you two got together is quite funny, right? I want you to actually tell the story because we know, but not of, everyone. Of how you got your number. Of how oh, you got I your number. I know, so strange. <laughs> yeah. I think he'd be cancelled for that now. Like, I don't think you <laughs> okay. could do that anymore. Explain. We do these big gigs, you know, like I suppose, like a big, like, multi act beer where there's loads of different artists on and I'd be like we're always our dressing rooms are always opposite each other now I know because I'm friends with who was then their security <laughs> that he used to ask to, for so oh. he would go around and change the signs and like put us together <laughs> but obviously nice. didn't know that at the time so we would always run into each other and then there was this one night we were at the gig and we all went out afterwards and we were like you know the promoter of this club was like, you know, you guys, we've put you on the same table and all of that. I went to the toilet and I left my bag on the table. And by the way, we both tell this slightly differently, but this is the truth. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and his story is like, what girl leaves their bag on the table when they go to the toilet? I'm like, and what? <laughs> and I got, he basically went into my phone. It was a Blackberry. I don't think it had a lock. Oh, no, yeah, <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. And he called himself from my phone. And obviously got my number. I was none the wiser. And then I got back to my hotel room. We were staying in the same hotel. And he called me and was like, hi. <laughs> <laughs> it's Marvin. I was like, like, you know, like dead, like suave. Yeah. I was like, hi. And 
I was like, how? Like, it, it freaked me out. I was like, how did you? And he was like, oh, yeah, yeah, no, don't you worry and all of this. And I was sharing a room with Vanessa from the Saturdays at the time. And we did, it was always our thing. Like, we got given these hotel rooms, but we'd always be away. And I'm like, oh, I want us to stay with you. Because it was just mm -hmm. weird being on my yeah. own. And he tried to do that thing, like, oh, who are you? Oh, are you in a room with Vanessa? I was like, yeah. He was like, oh, right, do you not get to have your own room? As if to put us oh. down. I was like, no, <laughs> thank you very much. <laughs> Me and the Saturdays have all got our own yeah. room. But we choose to share. And he was like, oh, OK. And he actually said, he was, like, trying it massively, but he was trying to, he was like, well, listen, if you're lonely and you want to come oh, out. Is oh, he? Yeah. Yeah. He did. It was, and then I went, ah, oh, excuse me. He went, no, no, not like that. We can just cuddle. <laughs> that's what he said. He's going to kill me for saying yeah. that. Um, and yeah, it, that's become the joke since. That we can <laughs> just really, cuddle. That's kind of cute. That is kind of cute. No, he was trying it because I said, no, I'm not. No, I'm not coming up to your room. He was like trying to reposition the idea. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Try to save me. Try to read it back. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> testing the water. Put yeah. the feelers out. See if she goes for it. <laughs> I mean, we know. Um, there's a really funny story of how you guys got together. You've been married now for a very long time. You got a beautiful family. Uh, but he's been away for a little while. He was on tour for a little while. He's now been in the jungle yeah. for a week. Genuinely watching that first episode, I didn't know if I was going to like watch it with people. I was all really nervous. But actually, like the one thing that I know that he's at genuinely petrified. I think people say sometimes that they're scared of something in hope that they get voted to do that and not the thing they're actually scared, scared of. But yeah. with Marv Heights, like there's no hiding it. He's oh. like genuinely petrified. Um, but also we would never really do anything that involves heights in normal life, right? Yeah. Like we sort of avoid, like we'd never... Go Thorpe Park. Yeah, yeah, like we just yeah, wouldn't, yeah, yeah. I don't know. I remember once we were like renovating our last house. I was really pregnant with Valley. And the guy was like, come and have a look at the roof or whatever. We had to, you know. So I got up there, I had a big bump. I had like a little high vis <laughs> on and a hard hat. And I remember looking back and he was like holding the ladder. Like, like, oh my God, you are scared of heights. Like I've never really noticed that he's scared yeah, of heights because yeah. we've not been in that environment. Um, so I was honestly dread, like I felt ill watching it. Oh. And, and like we've been together like over 14 years and I've never seen him pull faces before. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, I don't even know that. You know, like it's so weird. I don't even know yeah. that face. <laughs> yeah. So he was on, yeah, my like heart was in my mouth watching it. But when you watch the show, like that plank thing is also really scary. Yeah, that's really scary. But actually, a conversation that you might have with people in life is like, have you ever skydived before? Have yeah, you ever jumped out of a plane? And that would always be no, but I feel like really proud and like happy for him that he can like engage in that conversation. Listen, he's going to dine out on this forever. Yeah, oh, yeah. You know, you know, like, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> now, Rochelle, we have a few things in common. We do. I, I, I gloat about this all the time. I feel like we are. Uh, here we go. So I love sisters. this. We uh, are. We, we both go. love matcha and Pilates. <gasps> do you love matcha and Pilates? Love, like oh obsessed. My God, I wish I would have bought you some stuff before <sighs> I came. Don't I didn't know this. Don't tell her I'm going to send you some. <gasps> stuff. Oh, my days. For sure. Do you want to have a plank off? What? Oh my gosh! <laughs> what? Do you know what I mean? If you want, no, you know, I'm joking. No, no. I'm joking. I'm joking. No I'm joking. Blank off. Do you know yeah. what? I really, uh, uh, I'm very competitive. So yeah. I, sometimes See, I get really I'm like, not oh. competitive. Are you not? No, but I'm like with myself. I'm just not. I wish I was. I need to be a little no, you more. You don't. You don't. Because over here is stressful. Is it? Over here, it's okay, stressful. Fine. And you're wearing really a nice outfit, and I'll just. It's. it's Shayna Marie's got a reputation. Reputation. <laughs> yeah. In this building yeah. for fighting people. Yeah. Okay. No, don't yeah. say that. Okay. Don't embarrass me for the company. It's not painting Look, you in the best light. Question though. Yeah, tell One's me. gotta go. Match out or Pilates. They come hand in hand. We can't do that, can we? I don't think we can, but Robert told me to ask you. Well, uh, uh, <laughs> <laughs> they are to me, like they come, I do my Pilates and I, I have, have my matcha, matcha and that's yeah. like a thing. Is yeah. it that serious? Yeah, yeah it's yeah, that yeah. serious. But I'll be honest, if I'm like sleeping in a little bit and I'm like, oh, okay, a little day off, I will do it at some point, but I'll probably skip the Pilates and go straight for the matcha. Yeah. But I don't want to. Like, okay. they are a marriage. You just made me have a divorce. <laughs> but if I'm getting a pick, that's, that's where I'm pledging my allegiance. Talk to us. Runway for L'Oreal quickly. How was that? Ooh, terrifying. Really? It was, like, weirdly calm. You know, chaotic back there, but every, everybody was so nice. Mm. I was so scared and... I got a phone call saying, do you want to go to Paris? With You know, and I'm, I'm an ambassador for L'Oreal. But I've never done anything like it in my life. And they have, like, a different ambassador in every territory. So I'm the ambassador for the UK. Um, and then there are just, you know, so many. You can imagine L'Oreal is a huge yeah. brand. So mm. all over the world. So it was so nice to meet different people. But, like, some of those amb ambassadors include 
Helen Mirren and um, wow. Kendall Jenner. Yeah. Okay, and you know okay. when you're like, you know you're doing a, a runway fashion show in Paris with Kendall. Like, you've never done this before. <laughs> and Kendall Jenner is one. also on the bill. You're like, oh, this is... You, you, know, really you did scary. amazing though. You did look really. You I, looked amazing. You I looked really good. Was really smiling. <laughs> Do you know when you watch back? You're happy like, to be here. I was skinning teeth so bad, and I just waved. I was like, that's probably not what you do. Like everyone else was like strutting and smiling, but at the start, the director said it's really friendly. Like think a little bit like old school Victoria's Secrets, where people would have fun and enjoy it. And so someone waved at me, and I think I just felt so relieved. <laughs> like, I saw a warm face. I just went. <laughs> So that's now all I see when I see me doing it. So I kind of want to do it one more time okay, cool. just to redeem myself and not look like I've won a competition. All right, do you know next what I mean? year, Rochelle Hume's back on the L'Oreal. Yeah, I was runway, giving sure. full on competition winner. <laughs> all right, we want to play a little game with you right now, Rochelle. It's Love called it. 60 Seconds. We ask you some questions in a minute. You answer as quick as you can. Okay. Very simple. All right, 60 Seconds with Rochelle Humes. What is your favorite beauty item? Oh, um, a good moisturizer. Good night cream. Nice. If your family formed a band, what would the band name be? Wrong direction. <laughs> <laughs> Probably. <laughs> what would your younger self say to you now? Um, wow, you cut your hair. I'm shocked. <laughs> <laughs> you had big hair. Wow. Yeah, you had loads of hair. <laughs> yeah. Would you rather have elbows on your ears or ears on your elbows? Ears on my elbows. That's what I said. And you so deal with all the rustling. Like if someone's having a conversation next to me, I'm just leaning. Oh, yeah. You know what I mean? I'm yeah, putting yeah, yeah. my ear in that convo. <laughs> All right, your biggest career or work blunder? Hugging Theresa May. It was really but, awkward. Oh, really? It was at the height of, like, her having a real, you know, terrible time. Yeah. And I'm just that person. I interviewed her on this morning, and I was like, come here, how are you doing? <laughs> and it was, like, hugging, like, a wooden table. <laughs> She just, and I was like, oh, this, you know, like some people don't like to be hugged and I'm yeah. just that person. Yeah. And it, I'm just not formal enough. And it was just really, Hello. really awkward. Theresa May. She was like that. <laughs> <laughs> Who is your inspiration? Oh my goodness me. Very good question. I am actually, from a career perspective, I mean, everyone says their mum. I love my mum and mm -hmm. she is definitely an inspiration. But from a career perspective, do you know Emma Greed? Yes. Yeah, who's like... The good American. Yes. Yes. She's like the biggest badass businesswoman. Yeah. And she's from London. She's from East yeah, London. She's a, yeah, she's a serious she's woman. She's like a CEO C yeah. of Skims and so on and so forth. And she's just... Yeah, I'm into her. Nice. Okay, final question. What are you most grateful for right now? Oh, my family. Like, my children, my family. They're just literally my world. Gorgeous. Ah, 60 seconds it. with Michelle Hughes. I was, I was definitely probably nine too. <laughs> Now, Rochelle, uh, the film that you star in, Disney's Wish, mm -hmm. is out today. We want to see if you can make our dreams come true this morning on <laughs> Capital Extra Breakfast. Now, we have three envelopes. One right. with a wish inside for you to grant. Now, you can only open one envelope. Uh, you have to pick whichever envelope you want, and then you have to grant the wish inside for us. Okay. To right, pick so wisely. one, two, or three. Yeah, yeah. I'm going to hand you all of them, okay. and you just pick the one okay, that you fine. feel drawn to the most. Rochelle is opening wish number three. Open it up and read what's, what's inside. inside. Follow Shayna back on Instagram. <laughs> <laughs> wait, this wait. This is so funny. <laughs> I feel like we're friends now. I don't think that's a wish. That's just my... It's a dream. There we <laughs> my go. dream come true. Where's my phone? Have you got my phone over there, anyone? No, it's out there. I'll do hey, it. Hey, entourage, do it right now. team, team, bring the phone now. <laughs> They've run away. I don't know where they are. Make sure there's dreams Honestly, come true. that is the cutest thing ever. Oh, my god. Do you want to open the others and just see what was in there? Just yeah, in yeah, case? fine. Because we... That's we were... what I've committed to now. Yeah. So. yeah. yeah. There's two. This Number is... Two. Gift capital extra breakfast, a cloud to match hand. But oh, I can do that. We can do that. Match her in the morning. Two, for out, us. Of two, two out, out of three. Two out of three. All right. Final wish. What's this? Oh my gosh. Oh, we're really wrapped up in there. Have a meeting with Robert to chat about being signed to your management. Oh, we can do that. <laughs> Guys. So we're free for free with the wishes yeah, this morning. Absolutely that. Rochelle, you are our fairy godmother this yeah. morning. Well, it's nice to be someone. <laughs> My kids don't say that. <laughs> Mummy, I want it. No, you can't. <laughs> yeah. put, put, it in an, put it in an envelope. Yeah, wrap yeah, it up yeah, and yeah, give yeah, it to yeah, them. Yeah, exactly. Uh, Disney's Wish is out in cinemas now. So go in, check it out, and hear Rochelle in the film. Yes, one last time. Let's give it up, ladies and gentlemen. Oh. Rochelle Hughes, everybody! Yay! Yay! Very nice.